Well, a young mom disappears, leaving behind her two young sons. Years go by, but she never returns. What exactly happened to her is unknown. What happened to her husband and boys? Well, sadly, we know how that turned out. Take a look at this clip of the upcoming show, The Disappearance of Susan Cox Powell. Susan Cox Powell, who was beautiful, <laughs> she had these young boys, and then she just disappears. All of her friends say she would never leave her children. When's the last time you've seen her? Josh tells police he took their two young sons camping at midnight in sub-zero temperatures. Who would take their kids out camping at 2 o'clock in the morning, a 2-year-old and a 4-year-old? She told me that she was considering divorcing him. If something happens to me or my family, covering all my bases. I have no doubt that he was responsible. However, I could not prove it. Hmm. Well, the Oxygen Network is taking a fresh look at the disappearance of Susan Cox Powell. And the team behind this new two-part program has unearthed some very disturbing videos, some new information, too. So here to talk about the show is Susan's mother, Judy Cox, and with her, investigative journalist Stephanie Bauer. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Judy, I guess we're going to start with you. First of all, we want to send our condolences, yeah. first of, not only on the loss of your daughter, but on your grandchildren as well. It's got to be what a heart-wrenching 10 years this has been. Yeah, very much so. This story gripped everybody just in the news headlines, but why do a special now? Can you tell us some of the new information you've unearthed? Sure. So it's been almost 10 years, and I think this is really a time where Judy and her husband and Judy and her husband Chuck were open to finally telling the full story because law enforcement has home videos from Susan's father-in-law Stephen Powell really showing his obsession which we all knew existed um, in this in the headlines that we've seen but for the first time we can air some of them they're very shocking very disturbing so a lot we simply can't put on TV this is now the time where we can finally show it. The world can see the Powells for what they were. Law enforcement has made no secret of the fact that they think Josh was involved and possibly Steve too. Now Susan's family wants everyone to know and they really just want answers and they want Susan's body found and they want to know what happened to their daughter. That's there, why we want to do this show now. So many dead ends with you know people dying. Josh is dead, his brother is dead, the father is dead. I mean, did you ever feel like he was one obstacle after another trying to get some answers for the case? Mm -hmm. um, I also had my father-in-law pass away. Um, he was very disturbed by all the bad things they were saying about Susan. And it's always sad when people pass, no matter who they are, but um, I guess I look at it uh, as a point that Josh committed suicide and so did Michael. And so that could have been prevented, but they chose that. And then the boys were murdered. Mm. And uh, it's, it's just hard to take that in, um, but it affects all, both families and, you know, friends. Judy, you also want people to learn from this story. You never liked Josh, right? As a mother's instinct, there were people around Susan who had a bad feeling about him. Can you talk a little bit about what you were noticing uh, and hopefully maybe other people might be able to take notice if something like that's going on in their life? Uh, yes. Um, first of all, it is, uh, it can happen to anyone. And, and so people need to be aware and look at their relationships. And uh, Chuck and I always said that uh, <clears throat> to our girls is, you know, make sure they're respectful and that they treat you right and um, that you're safe and that they care and share interest and you know many different things and if you feel uncomfortable it, it's just not right or um, just not the person but be friends and we're trying to be general because we didn't want to say no don't do this but I told her when she asked me what I thought of him that I felt very uncomfortable and that I saw darkness, and I felt mm. it too. 
and I just wanted her to date other people and be friends with him fine but um, I just felt that there was something wrong with him and I wanted her to know I felt that way. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. We look forward to the show. Thank you so much. The disappearance of Susan Cox Powell airs Saturday, May 4th, and Sunday, May 5th at 7 o'clock on, on Oxygen. Oxygen, Oxygen I think.